Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from OptionAlpha.com and in today's video I want to talk about how you can scan for trades. And oftentimes I find when I coach people that scanning for trades seems to be a lot harder than it really is. And so hopefully I can demystify that today and show you in less than 10 minutes how we scan for trades. Now what you're really looking for when scanning for trades is just unique opportunities and what I call the low hanging fruit. And so what that means is we're looking for stocks that have either made a big jump in implied volatility or a big drop in implied volatility. So something that's out of the norm or a big percentage move up or a big percentage move down on the day. Again, something that's out of the norm and kind of stands out as kind of low hanging fruit that would gleam some sort of insight into maybe taking a directional stance on that stock going forward. So one of the first things that I do and you can see here on my charts, even though you can't see our watch list because we have it available inside the membership area to purchase, you can see over here that I have ranked all of the stocks in my watch list right now that are moving based on the highest percentage move to the lowest percentage move. So you can see everything that's kind of moving the biggest percentage mover today is right here and then the lowest percentage movers today or the biggest downward movers are down at the bottom. And the reason I do this just to start is because I want to see what's moving. So what has had a huge move up or a huge move down that may warrant a trade? So one of the ones that we look at if we again kind of sort this by biggest move down is that this stock today has had a 6% move down and if we actually look over at the charts this is actually a look at Tesla. So Tesla's had about a 6% drop today, pretty good drop in its in a move down and that really leads us to believe that maybe there's a trading opportunity here because of the drop lower and you can see that it's gapped lower and dropped lower, implied volatility is starting to spike. Okay, so maybe we might have some sort of trading opportunity there. The next lowest one down is going to be uh, PBR. So this is another one that has had a really big move down today. It's the next biggest percentage move down. But you can see after we start looking at the chart here, it's not really kind of a standout. There's no, you know, low hanging fruit. It hasn't gapped lower dramatically. It hasn't, you know, popped up dramatically. But implied volatility is starting to steadily rise and we start to see that MACD is continuing to move higher. So okay, maybe there's some sort of opportunity there as well. So that's one thing we look for is we definitely look for those stocks that have made big moves. That's an easy way to find new things to trade. If it's something kind of in the middle of the range here, like this stock, for example, it's down about a half a percent today. This is Netflix. Not really that big of a move for us to really, you know, go after. It's not we can trade this stock, but that doesn't mean that we should trade it because it's not doing anything major today. It's just kind of trading in the same old range that it's been in. And you can see with Netflix, even though it's down on the day, it's just kind of trading in the same range that it's been in. Implied volatility is high, but it's heading into earnings. So uh, there's nothing really to gleam out of that. You can just go ahead and skip over it. The other thing that we like to do is sort our list by high implied volatility stocks. So stocks that are new stocks to the list that have recent high implied volatility we might want to take a look at so since we look at this list every single day we know that we've got lots of stocks right now that are over that 50th percentile that we like to see but if there's for example some stocks that just made it onto the list today or the other day and have moved from say the low 40s up into the low 50s in implied volatility rank that might give us again another indication of something that is now tradable that wasn't tradable before. So for example, this stock right here is FXI and it just moved up to a 52 implied volatility. And so you can see implied volatility actually was higher than 52, but it's now still start to be 52. And so we can look at this chart and say, you know what, maybe FXI is, is another trading opportunity before it dips under 50, right? So if it was higher before, before and now it's starting to come back down lower, maybe this is an opportunity where we can trade implied volatility before it really makes a big dip down uh, below the 50th percentile. So, you know, that's the kind of stuff that we're looking for. We're looking for the low hanging fruit, things that are moving up. I know that today SPY uh, was another trade and you can see SPY is right here on our watch list to the left. It has 69% implied volatility, but just the other day it was down in the 40s and 30s. So you start to see that implied volatility is rising in SPI or SPY and as a result we have orders that we're trying to get into the market to trade this security because implied volatility is starting to rise and it's now in the 70th percentile. So very high implied volatility, 
leads us to believe that there's an opportunity here to trade something in it. So that's really how we start to look for and scan for trades. There's other ways that you can scan for trades with technical analysis by going through and using the scan tab inside Thinkorswim. There's a really cool way that you can study filter things by um, different indicators. So for example, if you wanted to look up and pull up all stocks uh, that had, and if I just add that study indicator, had a MACD crossover that was from negative to positive, then you could do that on this inside Thinkorswim. So it's a really cool tool to use because you can study filter all of these stocks and look specifically for stocks that have a MACD histogram crossover that went from negative to positive based on some set of inputs. So if we just, again, use this one here, we can go ahead and click scan. And that will pull up all the stocks with options that are tradable that we can do that have a MACD crossover from a low point to a high point. And you can see the first one on the list here is USO. This is pretty interesting, or the only one on the list, which is pretty cool because now it's narrowed it down even more. So, all right, so I truly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like I said, if you have any comments or questions, please ask them right below on the lesson page. The key here with scanning for trades is that you don't go through analysis paralysis. Have some set of defined filters or studies that you want to look for or types of trading setups that you're looking for and look for those quickly in the morning through your short liquid watch list anyway. And if there's something to trade, make a trade on it. If there's not, then don't force it. Don't force a trade into the market just for the sake of trading. We want to make sure that we're making smart, good trades. And that's really the key here uh, at Option Alpha is teaching you how to make smarter and better trades. So as always, if you guys have any questions, please